So in this video, we are gonna change around the room and mix it up, renovate it, make it feel a little bit more rejuvenated. I feel like I'm so bored of what my room looks like now. I feel like it's just got a little bit too stagnant. I really wanna mix it up, add some color, and I feel like it's just a little bit too boring at the moment. With that being said, it's an absolute mess at the moment, and that's probably because I'm not enjoying my room, so I haven't been probably giving it the attention that it really needs. It is really bad. It feels like a cyclone has gone through here. So before we mix it up, before we start making changes and moving things around, I think it's best that we give it a clean. So with that being said, let's get to that. Okay, so for the most part, the room is pretty clean. The only thing I need to do is sort of move this down and see if I can fit the Hovet mirror in there. I don't know if it's actually gonna fit, but it's the only place I can really think in my room where I could put a mirror. So I'm gonna move that and hopefully it fits. Or I just bite the bullet and buy the mirror and hopefully it fits. We'll see what happens. A few moments later. Okay, we're officially back from Ikea and that was a great trip, a very successful trip, as you can see, just to the left of me, I guess you could say. I do have the Ikea Hovet mirror. I did pick it up in the aluminium colorway. I think that one looks best. Though, looking at it, as you can see, it's really big. It's huge. So, I'm gonna have to move a few things around. And in saying that, I also picked up another mirror, which you will be seeing. It's very similar to this sort of, what, the, what are they called? They're very similar to those mirrors that you see outside in sort of alleyways, I guess you could say. And I think it would make for some great pictures, so I had to pick it up. You'll be seeing it on the screen now. And I will ideally find a place to put it up, which it will look sick in. And I also finally picked up a little plant to the right of me. Now, I've always wanted plants in my room. I always want a little bit of greenery. However, I'm not the best at keeping plants alive, unfortunately. Though this one, this is going to be our turning point. I'm going to keep them alive. But I also wanted to pick up a ton of plants. Though I was with my mum and she did convince me to just pick up the one because I should probably just start with one at a time and then sort of build it up. I just really wanted to buy like an entire forest and put it into my room. I love greenery, but I think one's a, a good way to start. Considering I'm moving everything around and I don't really know what my room's gonna look like, it's probably a good it's probably a good idea to start with just one. Uh, with that being said, I'm gonna have a drink because I am so 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 tired. Sit down and then I guess I'm gonna have to figure out this whole shambles of moving everything around. Ugh. Don't know what I'm gonna do. Anyways, I'll see you there.
Okay, okay, okay. Now, the mirror is officially set up. I think it looks incredible where it is. If you briefly saw that moment where it started to fall down on me, I had a heart attack thinking it was going to smash or I wasn't going to catch it in time. Thank God I was right next to the mirror when that happened. With that being said, I've started to fix up a few little ornaments, put some books out, the plant. Let me zoom out for you guys just so you can see what I'm talking about. So just to the right there, we have got the books now, which I think look incredible. Some of my favorite books from Virgil Abloh, one of my greatest inspirations. Of course, we've got the sculpture there as well and two favorite boxes from Rude and Fear of God. I just love that mustard color and I think the Fear of God box, as I previously explained in that video, looks incredible. Moving over here, you have now got the plant which I picked up. This plant was originally meant to actually go over here. However, I think it actually looks great there. Just sort of hanging into the frame of the actual mirror, which I think is super sick. With that being said, there is still a lot more cleaning to do, which is never my favorite part, but I think it's necessary. Rather than sort of keep going with moving stuff, it's good to clean up as I go so I don't get too overwhelmed. Because as you saw at the beginning of the video, when I get overwhelmed, I leave it and I live in a complete mess, which we're not going to do. We're not going to go back to that. With that being said, let me spin you around one more time so you can actually see the mess that I'm dealing with right now. And right there, we've got some shoe boxes. Just some random ornaments. Right down here, we have got the actual um, packaging, the boxes, a few random knits and knacks. So, plan is clean that up, and then I'll probably join you back once I get a rug out to add a little bit more vibrancy. And just sort of, I feel like a rug just always complements a room really well. With that being said, I'm not going to ramble on anymore. I'm going to clean up this room and then grab that rug out, and we can add a little bit more to the final product, I guess, and get this into a nice sort of place where I'm happy where it's at. So I'll see you in a moment. A moment for you guys and however long it takes me to clean for me. Have fun, see you soon. Okay, so the room is officially done. I took the last two days to clean up, sort of fix up a few wiring issues around the room and just sort of broaden up the space. And guys, I am so happy with where it's at right now. So let me pick up the camera and show you around the room, show you the update, the finished product, cause I am Super, super happy with this result. All right. So getting into the most exciting part, the one I was sort of hyping up previously, and that is the rug. Moving down here, you can finally see the rug that I was excited to bring into the room to just sort of add a little bit dimension. And of course, that is the Virgil and Off-White IKEA rug right there. Absolutely love this rug. Just the concept, the idea that the rug itself is a receipt for the purchase of the rug. Super interesting. Now, I also had to sort of move my desk over here. Now, I just wanna preface this by saying this is the IKEA Hermes desk. Absolutely beautiful. It's one of the staples of IKEA and is definitely worth the price. However, as you can see, I had to move it slightly just into my wardrobe as I just didn't have any room to sort of have it moved over. And that's because, of course, I want to use this mirror as much as possible, have as much space, get the feet pics. So of course, we're going to move this one down, have as much of that mirror as possible. As you can see there, it is also just locked in behind the desk and the books, just because I don't want to have another issue as I did previously where the mirror started to fall down because this was expensive and obviously it doesn't really hold up that well unless you're sort of wall mounting it. However, that's a little bit too much commitment for me at this time. Now I've also got this lovely lily plant that I previously mentioned that I picked up and I just love where it is. And I also have the Ikea a dimmable light there, which I really love. I really love an orange light and I think it really offsets really well with those lilies there. Now moving down, as I previously mentioned, I've got some Virgil books there, or I've also got the Represent book as well. Unfortunately, I won't be buying from Represent anymore, which you will see in a video in the future, potentially. We've also got that sculpture bag. Of course, I'm really bringing in that Virgil Ikea sort of elements. I really do love Virgil's design and I really wanted to bring in those cues from Virgil. So of course, moving up, I've also put up the temporary clock. This used to be up in my room for quite a while, but I decided to take it down for, I'm not sure what the reason was, but I really love having it up there and sort of the idea that, you know, time is temporary. Really love that. Now, I'll quickly spin us around. If you guys didn't realize before, now, the only thing I don't really like about 
my room is this bed. For one, I really hate that I bought this bed from Ikea. It has drawers underneath which are great and I do put my sneakers down here, as you can see. But the only problem is once you move the bed, the drawers really move with it. I really don't like that wood look anymore. I feel like it's just a bit dated and I hate this, this quilt. This quilt, I will get rid of eventually. I would love to get a sage green one. There was one from Target, which I was very interested in, which I will throw up on screen now that you will see, which ideally I'd love to put over this instead of this white. It's very raggedy, so are the pillows. This needs to be replaced at some point. But moving down, I also had picked up this item quite a while ago, and this is the Boucle uh, storage chest from Ikea. Now, I don't know if they still sell this. I picked it up while I was having my Boucle phase, and I loved it. However, I didn't really have anywhere to put it, so I just sort of had it in my garage, but I did bring it out because I love having it at the end of the bed. And of course, just in here, I just have my uh, big sort of, what's it called? Blanket. And I just have some extra sneakers in there, a uh, pair of shorts. Of course, my Stone Island New Balances because I've been wearing them on the daily. Now, I don't know if you noticed before, but here used to be my fan. I do love a fan, can't sleep without it. However, I've moved the fan just over here and we have that wiring that goes inside and up around and it's actually just behind here, which is great. It's very hidden away, which also means I can have my diffuser here and I love that sort of light that comes off that diffuser. Also, I love this IKEA uh, Alien plush, which my friend Marius got me from me. Um, it is very popular at the moment, sold out everywhere. Just a really random detail I wanted to show you guys. Love this little plush over here. Now, with that being said, I've got one last thing that I wanted to show you, and that, of course, is that new mirror that I wanted to show previously, as I mentioned. Now, I love this. I think it's so cool, and it's going to make for some sick fit pics, especially. Just having that sort of warped oval look, I just think it looks really cool. It's just so interesting to have. Um, yeah, I just, I just love this. Originally, I was going to put it over there. However, you do, did see it in the reflection of the Hovet mirror and it looked a bit weird and I love having the Hovet mirror sort of a little bit more clean and classy. With that being said, this is the update. This is what the room looks like now. I think it honestly looks incredible. This is really where I've wanted my room to be for quite a while and I think it's finally getting there and I really do love it. Of course, some only little details that I want to improve on would ideally be changing the quilt over there. Maybe just adding uh, a little ornament or two or another plant. I would love a plant. But with that being said, this is the update. This is the IKEA little room reno, the update. And I think this looks fantastic. So guys, if you enjoyed today, feel free, drop a like down below. Let me know if there's anything you think I should add to this room. With that being said, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.